I take it everybody in the room is familiar with YouTube. <laughs> I remember when I started dating, and my mom would show my date little baby pictures of me, and I would get tremendously embarrassed. And now we have YouTube to remind us of our shortcomings. I happened across one of my early speeches the other day. In my mind, I thought, when I went up that first night, John Travolta strutting, the music going, and I thought I was the man. I happened to cross that speech. Not so much. <laughs> Which leads me to our next award this evening. The Most Improved Award. Our presenter this evening to present the Most Improved Award is an amazing lady who gives, 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 so you can't think she can give any more. That is our current president, Ms. Gail Hill Smith. <laughs> Jonathan. The Most Improved Award. This award was started during my first presidency in 2007 to recognize the small improvements a member makes during our weekly meetings, whether it's in the communication track or the leadership track. The Most Improved Toastmaster each week is voted on by those members in attendance. It is my honor to recognize the individual that has accumulated from your vote being the most improved through both the leadership and the communication track to our Toastmaster, Linda Earls. Tim Chastain Award is an incredibly special individual, always willing to give advice, always willing to help. Our table topics master this evening, with her lovely boots, Ms. Jessica Schleinbecker. <laughs> contributed the most to that meeting in some way that may not otherwise be recognized. At every meeting we do recognize the top evaluator, top speaker, top table topics, and most improved. And we added about almost 10 years ago the Tim Chastain Award. Now Tim, as, as Jonathan mentioned, was the co-founder of our club. And this was a great way to be able to recognize his contributions because he did, and anybody who knows Tim knows he contributes so much behind the scenes. And especially when we were getting this club started and going, it was just amazing the amount of work he did. Some of you also may remember, oh, this is kind of funny, it used to be called the Revolving Award. <laughs> it was revolving until right now. And some people thought it was a revolving award because we had a statue that would literally revolve from person to person. We used it for every meeting. But it was also because there was a nut loose on the bottom and it literally revolved <laughs> in itself. So it was called the Tim Chastain Revolving Award for a very long time. That's it falls. Okay. So tonight, the Tim Chastain Award is given to the person who's accumulated the most votes, similar to the most improved, not votes, but, but over the time of the six months, has received the Tim Chastain Award on a weekly basis more than any other person in the club. Now, the individual receiving the award tonight has really, really, really contributed so much to this club, both during meetings and also behind the scenes. This person hasn't been with our club too terribly long, but I can't imagine it without this person's contribution. It's such a huge difference it has made. This person has held every type of meeting role and has done an outstanding job. This person has schooled us <laughs> on how to properly do table topics, has brought interesting topics to our toast as the Toastmaster, and has also been great as a general evaluator and evaluator, giving us feedback on our performance as well. This person has done work behind the scenes, setting the agenda, setting up for special events, really, truly amazing. 
This person is creative, as we just heard, and at almost every meeting, and did all this and wasn't even an officer for our club. So hopefully, this is going to be great. <laughs> so no surprise, the winner of tonight's Tim Chastain Revolving Award <laughs> is Toastmaster Linda Earls. <laughs> well done, Linda. Awesome job, and I agree with everything Jessica said. Can't imagine not having you at our club. Looking forward to your next speech, by the way. The most illustrious impromptu speaker award is our next award, presented to us by... Our next presenter first joined Toastmasters in 1997 as a charter member of the Harris Speakeasy Club in Melbourne, Florida. With life's changes came also changes in Toastmasters clubs. Six, all told so far. Stephen joined Central Florida Facilitators in 2004. He has served as President, Vice President of Education, and currently Vice President of Public Relations. For Stephen, Toastmasters has been a school for learning, a garden for growing, and a home for healing. He has found Central Florida Facilitators to be a great forum for trying new things and Failing spectacularly. <laughs> know the feeling. Here to attempt a presentation of the Fall 2013 Most Illustrious Impromptu Speaker Award. Please welcome Advanced Toastmaster Gold, Stephen Morgan. As with the many awards that you see handing out tonight, each week at Central Florida Facilitators, we vote on who gave the best table topic answer. Therefore, you have to be able to think on your feet and be prepared for those particularly scary moments when you're going to be asked something you have no idea. As it turns out, our recipient this evening earned that first best table topics during the meeting where the theme was fear. <laughs> and this person certainly had a little bit of fear. In particular, we are worried that it was, this facilitator was just going to be a perpetual technical table member and never step up to those other roles. Nonetheless, the opportunity did arise at Halloween. We're convinced to take on the role of evaluator, not only one best evaluator, Won the best table topics, again. Also won the best costume. <laughs> and was finally convinced to take on the role of the icebreaker, which we are finally glad to have heard, and we are certainly hoping to hear that next one very soon. <laughs> <laughs> so please welcome this term's most illustrious impromptu speaker, Eddie Herrera. <laughs>
Patty, I just love your voice. It's so, so soothing. I need to yell more. <laughs> when I first came to Central Board of Facilitators, some thought I had a little bit of a rebellious streak. <laughs> Fortunately, our club had a club mom. <laughs> she sat her little point down time after time again and had some really serious talks. But <clears throat> truthfully, I knew it came out of a very caring place, and I love her for it, and she's awesome. And I'm so glad to see her here tonight. Just had hip replacement surgery. Here to present the most winning coach, distinguished Toastmaster, Tony Gimbles. Gimbles. we've had prepared speeches. And what that means is we will have the speeches evaluated. The award for the most winning coach goes to the individual that has won the best evaluator award the most times over the course of the last six months. Long time. A lot of work. <laughs> the purpose of the evaluation is obviously to help the speaker become less self-conscious to do a better job each time they get up to give a speech. It's also important that the evaluator give the speaker information about what their strengths are so that they can build on those strengths and continue to do what they do well in future speeches, as well as bring to their attention the areas where they can improve and be even more effective. This is no small task because the evaluator is hearing the speech for the very first time, a five to seven minute speech typically. They have about 10 minutes to put their thoughts together into a, a well-organized and effective presentation that lasts two to three minutes. So there are a lot of skills that are involved in doing this job well. The recipient of this award has been a member of this club for a number of years. One of the benefits of Toastmasters that you will not see on the website, and you will not see in any brochure, is that the longer you are together with the members in the club, you get to see amazing growth and development, all the time learning from each other, no matter what the skill level of the individual. So we're constantly teaching each other and receiving information. You cannot possibly leave a meeting without a few tips about either your own skills or something that you can use for future presentations. As a past recipient of this award, it's my honor to present the award to an individual who has the biggest heart. Maybe he has two hearts. He's so loving and so genuine and has worked so hard to achieve the level of confidence that is exhibited today in this award. He has learned to be an active listener, an effective listener, and he has learned to create a presentation for the speaker with tips that they can use, as well as, and this is as important as giving tips for improvement, to really building up the confidence of that speaker and letting them know what a great job they did, no matter what. <laughs> It's my honor to present this award for the most winning coach to Charlie Bombalier. Tony, we can tell you've been a little rusty out of the meetings as you have been in the lectern before I made it back up. <laughs> Looks like we might be having a role reversal tomorrow morning. More interested in my cane. Sorry about that. <laughs> There's not enough words I can say about Charlie. I'm going to say a few later. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a great guy. It's time for a little deja vu. 
as we present the award for most celebrated speaker. Our next award, the most celebrated speaker, and our next presenter is well acquainted with such accolades. In his 15 years in Toastmasters, he has competed in, get this, 160 speech contests, winning 67 of them. He won his way to the District 84 Finals in Table Topics in 2009, 2010, and 2011. Stephen also took his 2011 International Contest speech to the District 84 Contest, where he placed second. Alas, a championship still eludes him. <laughs> Please welcome back Advanced Toastmaster Gold, Stephen Morgan. I think you can imagine what the most celebrated speaker award is for at this point. With each speech at every meeting, we take the opportunity to vote for who had the best presentation. You do have to make it within your time limits. And I've managed to go over them more than a few times. <laughs> In order to earn that award, you have to be willing to get up and speak. And you're not going to win every time. Our recipient this evening did not win every time. And yet still won seven times. <laughs> In mind, we've only had 23 meetings. In those seven speeches, we heard a variety of different topics, including the story that you're about to hear is true, but the names were changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> <laughs> that first, you must get rid of the fake. My friend Jay, three little pigs, turn back the path of retreat. What will it take to go higher? And then, how to begin your speech? And I know that this particular individual is also interested in getting to some of those higher heights. You're going to have to get past me first. But managers to do that often enough, having, after all, won the humorous speech contest as well this term. So if for the third term in a row is our most celebrated speaker award, please welcome our Master of Ceremonies, John Tony, did you see that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You had your head turned. I paid attention. <laughs> Thank you, John. Watching Stephen, even the amount of preparation he puts into just that, I mean, man, it, it just blows me away. Well, well done and thank you, Stephen. Our next award this evening is the Janine Stroud Service Award. Brought to us by the other half of the Morgan and Morgan Panda, <laughs> who has been a member of Central Florida Facilitators for over seven years. I agree with this next statement. Boy, how time flies. <laughs> At that time, she had the opportunity to know Janine Stroud, for whom this award is named. She has received this award herself in the past, most recently last term, and is honored to presenting this award tonight. Please help me welcome distinguished Toastmaster, Susan Morgan. I have been honored tonight to be presenting the Janine Stroud Service Award. Most of you might ask, who is this Janine Stroud? Janine, or J9 as we called her, was CFF's club mentor, mentor when Tim and Jessica first started the club, over 10 years ago. She stayed a member for several years until other obligations caused her to move away. Janine's service to CFF was providing exemplary Toastmaster skills, high energy into the club, continuing to provide mentoring and coaching. 
This award goes to the individual who modeled the spirit of Toastmasters following the example set by Janine Stroud and those who followed in her footsteps. This individual will be one who has served frequently, effectively, and enthusiastically in a variety of roles at CFF's weekly meetings. The club keeps track of all the roles filled by its members and chooses a member who has served in the served the most roles during the term, exhibiting the qualities illustrated by Janine Stroud's example. This term, our recipient served 19 times in a variety of roles and often doubled up by fulfilling two or even more roles during one meeting. This facilitator will coach and mentor anyone who asks, all the while bringing a super abundance of positive and loving energy to fellow Toastmasters and guests. It is my privilege and pleasure to present the Janine Stroud Service Award to a most deserving member. Please help me in congratulating this term's recipient, Jonathan Bell. Make two cases, please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Our next award this evening, chance to make things right, <laughs> Jessica Schlank Guthrie Spirit Award, our distinguished Toastmaster, Tony Kittles. <laughs> reminiscing with Jessica this evening that this was the very first award that I received as a member of this Toastmaster Club. And it really was very special because even though they may not have intended the meaning to be this, it meant to me that you saw in me a potential for my public speaking skills as well as leadership skills, um, as well as my interest in supporting the club and growing the club. Um, I wasn't an officer, well, I don't think I was an officer at that time, but I was active, and you can be active without being an officer. Your attendance is important, something that we look at, um, how you interact with the other members, as well as how you interact with the guests. So it is given to a Toastmaster who has ex exhibited the spirit of what Toastmasters is all about. It's actually that the recipient is chosen by the president of the club with input from whoever she wants to get input from. <laughs> uh, this recipient today really has a passion for learning and growing and for all that Toastmaster stands for. He interacts quite respectfully with all of the members and with the guests and really is a stand for everyone's growth and development, and is always there to be supportive and to offer suggestions.